Chicago. Ordinary cops were losing the battle. The criminal mastermind called Overlord and his super freaks held our city in their terrifying grip. Then a miracle happened. When I found him, he had no memory of his past. I helped him find an identity and a life. Now we have a fighting chance. Now we have the dragon. This is perfect. Look at this long hair creep. Hey man, what you doing? Looking for some trash cans to pick through? Maybe he's looking for his barber. Oh, we ought to be his barbers. Give him a cut, he'll never forget. Ah, such sweet smelling hatred. I must have a taste. Uh, I don't want any trouble. I'm warning you. Oh yeah, what you gonna do, breathe on us? Nope, take you downtown and lock you up. He's a cop! Hey man, I, I didn't mean any of that stuff. Ah, I was mistaken. My hunger could never be satisfied by such small-minded vessels. I need the nourishment that only a great, big, juicy hatred can provide. And somewhere in this city, I'll find it. I hate freaks. I hate the way they look, the way they talk. I'd like to know how we let one of those animals on the force. Hey, Niceman, what do you really think? You know I'm right, Wong. Freaks are ruining the city. You ought to read this. It'll do wonders for your outlook. Feeling good about yourself and others by Randolph Cheery. Oh, what a load of garbage. Listen, when I need a guru, I'll go to Tibet. Just say when and I'll help you pack, sunshine. I can't believe he's using our sink. Well, I didn't realize it belongs to you, nice man. Here you go, pal. Take good care of it. Hate that fin-headed freak. Oh, yes, this one's a keeper. I must feed on his hatred. You know what I'd like to do? Take every last one of those lousy freaks and throw them in the sewer. Starting with that green piece of garbage. Thinks he's real cute with that sink bit, but just wait till I... Ah, such a pure and focused hatred for freaks. What a beast I will make of that hatred. Now, here's what Randolph Cheery says. A positive outlook will elicit a positive response. <laughs> See that? Maybe you want to... <laughs> me to the brim. Let's put it to good use and find some freaks to terrorize. What's this I smell? Is it? Yes, freaks. Sounds like they're playing our song. Oh, and I thought this was going to be a quiet night. Dream on. Basher's goons. I'll handle those two. I'm sure you and Basher have some catching up to do. Yeah. Maybe do some male bonding. No. What's wrong with this picture? No. Please. I mean, I know I was tough, but I never get this kind of reaction. Oh, sweet Felicity, face to face with the object of my hater's hate. Take me in, Dragon! Take me in! Just don't let him get me! Ah! I'm out of here! Ah! Feel my 
my power, freak. Feel my evil. Feel this gas face. <laughs> suffer, freak. How it fulfills my very being to make you suffer. What is your problem with freaks? We work hard, pay our taxes, and in case you haven't looked in the mirror lately, you are a freak! Who goes? So chill out! Chicago PD's freak cop, the Dragon, is waging yet another destructive battle, this time inside a popular electronics store. Meanwhile, a nervous public holds its breath and wonders just how much damage will the Dragon cause this time? <laughs> Now, I'm steamed. Oh, yes? Then maybe it's you who needs to chill out. Here's 20,000 BTUs in your face, compliments of a fiend! I think not, fiend! You know what your problem is? Ring around the collar. But don't worry, I've got the perfect solution. You're all washed up, fiend. So tell us, Officer Dragon, who's going to pay for all the damage you've caused? Ask this guy. Nice man. Hey, what's going on? He's a policeman. Thanks for the memories, nice man. Your hatred was juicy, but too limited. My delicate palate needs a bit more variety. You're seeing it live. The Dragon has just brutally beaten and spin-cycled a fellow officer. Officer Dragon, the public demands an explanation of this senseless abuse of a fellow officer. He has no comment. No comment. The last refuge of the guilty. You didn't do it, did you, Dragon? Not that I'd blame you for kicking Niceman's butt, but... That wasn't Niceman. I was fighting. It was something that called itself the Fiend. But what's weird is some of the things it said reminded me of Niceman. Dragon, I... What is it, Frank? Niceman's pressing charges. Uh -huh. And you have to take me in. I understand. Uh, Lieutenant Darling, can we get a statement? How's it feel getting busted? In a jail cell, hold him! The savage dragon is going to jail, and a grateful city breathes a sigh of relief. The way I figured, Frank. This thing that calls itself the Fiend took over Niceman's body. Well, that's gonna be tough to sell to a judge, Dragon. Just get me out of here and I'll find him! <sighs> Such delicious hatred from the green freak. Why didn't I notice it earlier? I must get closer. But just hang tight, Dragon. Once we figure out why this thing took over Niceman... And in the meantime, what happens if it takes over someone else? People could get hurt. Ah, he's only angry. Anger won't fuel my hunger. I need a fat, juicy hunk of hate. I need it now. This little jackrabbit gave me the slip. Ah! You gotta be in the next cell to a freak. <clears throat> you. Hey, don't be breathing my air, freak. I don't want to gag. I rejected this one once, but my hunger can't wait. I need something to tide me over. Hey, you look good in the cage, freak. They had to stick the whole bunch of you in the Chicago Zoo. Listen, Junior. One more word and I'll. The sweet nectar of the tattooed one's hatred, how it fills my very being. Freaks, long hairs, homeless, I detest them all. All right, hold it right. And you're just as bad. <clears throat> Frank! <laughs> Are you okay, Frank? I saw it, but I don't believe it. I should have stopped him. How? Oh, you're locked up behind bars. <sighs> Yeah, right. That thing the fiend said about the sweet nectar of the tattooed one's hatred. I think I get it now. He's drawn to people who hate, and then he takes them over and feeds on their hatred. <laughs> My wife says I have strange eating habits. I guess the hate angle explains why he took over Niceman. And why the fiend's hate was directed at me when he did. Frank, I need out. I need to be on this case. I know, Dragon. Let me see if I can't pull a few strings. Drop the charges on Dragon? Hey, in your dreams! Listen, Niceman, you got a sprained ankle, a few contusions, but basically you're okay. We're talking about a fellow cop. 
He's a freak! And he put me in the hospital. Look at my face. He didn't put the ugly in it, if that's what you mean. Look, I saw what it was that took you over. I don't know nothing about that. But I do know this is my chance to get Dragon. And I am playing hardball. Oh, hardball, huh? Okay, smart guy. Then practice up on your typing, because when you get back to work, I want every report filed in triplicate. One mistake, one misplaced comma, you do it over. Inspection every morning, your locker, your patrol car, I find a single speck of dirt. It's scouring powder and toothbrush time. That's just starters. I'm gonna make your life a living nightmare, as long as dragons behind bars. Ooh. How'd you do it, Frank? Well, let's just say I made Niceman an offer he couldn't refuse. Good enough. Let's roll, partner. We've got an unfriendly fiend to find. As I suspected, this one was little more than a snack. Crave something a bit meatier. I'm here to meet and interview the great Randolph Cheery. His message of decency and positive thinking is much like my own. What do you think about him charging $200 a head for his seminar? And Mr. Cheery's message of kindness and generosity is worth every... Cut that camera! He was filming me on my bad side. You know I hate that. I want him fired! What an interesting bouquet. This one has definite possibilities. There's our happy hate monger now. Ah! He won't remember a thing, just like Niceman. Let me go, you dirty freak! I'll call for a backup car to take this trash in. He's close, Alex. I can smell it. This is Lake Michigan. There's no telling what you're smelling. Such a pleasure to meet a man who's done so much for the Windy City. Pleasure's all mine, Cheery. I like what you're about. Oh, you mean my message of... Message, message. I'm talking dinero. How you get people to shell out 20 bucks for a book, 200 bucks for a boat ride? I'd love a piece of that action myself. Tell me, what's the secret? Are we off the record? Completely. I discovered long ago that people are sheep. Mindless creatures who need to be led and told what to do and what to think. <laughs> Don't I know it. That's what TV's all about. The weak-minded fools come to me for answers. Oh, how I detest them for their weakness. Ah, this one is a much more tantalizing specimen. His hatred is absolutely succulent. I look out at their pathetic faces and picture myself crushing them like the worthless, vile insects that they are. Ah, uh, well, now, <laughs> that's just great. Uh, I won't take up any more of your soft Richards. I see that now. I thought you were like me, but you're not! <laughs> Such an exquisite hatred to nourish my evil soul. No, no, no please, stay back. I, I have money. Let me go and you'll be rich. You soft, pathetic fool. I have no interest in money. Hatred is its own reward. That, and destroying the objects of my hatred, like those pathetic losers waiting upstairs in the conference hall. And you. And now, ladies and gentlemen, Mr. Randolph Cheery. Give me, you worthless lapdogs, and prepare to suffer like you've never suffered before. Fear for your pathetic lives. It's curtains for all of you. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the captain welcoming you aboard. My cat. <laughs> and I hope everyone has an enjoyable cruise. Terrible news, Captain. There's a man overboard. There is. Yes. Unfortunately, it's you. <laughs> Terror on the high seas, anyone? <laughs> I don't get it. If this thing feeds on people who hate. He could be anywhere by now. Could be, but since he left that skinhead at the marina, I'm betting he took over somebody else nearby. All units, marina area. Distress signal reports a craft belonging to Randolph Cherry out of control and threatening other craft. That was the yacht with all the seminar takers aboard. And maybe an uninvited stowaway. 
named The Fiend. Need your boat. Police business. No way. Cops think you can... It's all yours. This Randolph Cheery's hatred is most creative. It's giving me such lovely ideas. Now what? There's no ladder. We'll make our own. Hop aboard the SS Dragon. <coughs> Somehow this wasn't covered at the police academy. <gasps> the passengers must be trapped down below. And there's our fiendish friend. He's turning this dinghy into an 80-foot torpedo headed right for that island. Not if I can help it. Ah, what bliss to know that so many will suffer. Add your own name to the list, pal. You. Me. The creep disabled the steering. Ditto the throttle. When in doubt, break it. Tough luck, fiend. Looks like my partner just took the wind out of your sails. No matter. Destroying you will be a lovely consolation prize. And now that I've been well fed, you will feel the true power of my <gasps> hatred. Some power. You can't exist without feeding off of other people. How true. So many haters, so little time. Anchors away! <laughs> Up here! Grab the life rafts! Out of my way! I need that! You were saying? Uh, madam, I insist you take this raft. Find me, dragon, and find the fires of pain! Where'd you get this sad dialogue? Bad foreign movies? <laughs> You're as pathetic as the rest of humanity. So soft, so easy to destroy. Once I'm done with you, I'm going after your partner. Oh, how I will rejoice at the sounds of her screams and her suffering. All right, that's it. If I have to take this boat apart inch by inch, you are mine. Come on, you miserable coward. Show your face. I hate creeps like you. What's this? You, you had it in you. You bet I do, fiend. The hate's boiling over inside me. Come on, take a whiff. Oh, I'll do more than that. You may be the most worthy of all. I'll show you what worthy I am. I hate you, fiend. You hear me? I said I hate you. Oh, such hatred. It's absolutely mouth-watering. Do it, Fiend. You know you want to. Take me over. Yes. Yes. will be destroyed, starting with you. But I must first destroy the one I hate most, which is... me? Oh, oh, no! My head is killing me. Dragon, what happened? It was, it was just like I figured. By getting the fiend to take me over, he could only feed on the hate I had for him, so... So, basically, he ate himself alive with self-hatred. Creepy. Yeah, real creepy. Oh, this is just what I need. A circus. Mr. Cherry, do you have any comment about the lawsuit? What lawsuit? Mr. Richard's lawyers are representing the passengers. They're going to sue you for ten million dollars. Still think I'm soft, Cheery? Do you think the fiend is gone, Dragon? Maybe for a while. But there's a lot of hate out there. Don't we? Minded fools. And he's got a big appetite. 
Thank you.